it is estimated that approximately 80 percent of, of all population will have a back pain sometime during their lifetime. A majority will recover shortly after, but some percentage will go on and have a chronic problem, which eats up a lot of money uh, due to direct medical costs, uh, lost time at work, and workman's compensation. The limits of current approaches, the, the reductionist approach, are that uh, people are looking at parts of the entire system. And the rehabilitation solutions that came out from this uh, from these approaches are not very effective. Our idea is that perhaps we're not looking at the system in its entirety and interaction between a cellular, uh, neuromuscular, and mechanical level. Spine system science borrows the uh, branch of mechanical engineering that's called system science. And so as, as such, it's not new. However, application to study spine problems is a new and, and kind of revolutionary idea. We look at the spine model from all kinds of perspective, in vitro, in vivo, neuromuscular, all the way to the cellular level, and integrate it all into one very complex system. And only then you can look at the entire system in its entirety and looking at the interaction between, for example, forces and cellular uh, processes. This is the lumbar spine upper segment of it. Humans have um, one to five usually. So this one is a lumbar one and two segments. We want to see if damping and stiffness change under different load conditions. So we have pendulum system where we can load different weights on it and basically we swing them and see measure the uh, response off of the uh, pendulum using the uh, motion system and we can calculate positions um, velocities, and even accelerations off of that. What I'm trying to watch for is see if the bone structure in the um, back is hitting each other or not. With that, it would give extra um, wiggling motions that we don't want. Uh, so our hope is that we will be able to understand system in, 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 a, in, in its entirety and then design much more effective rehabilitation strategies.